Hey YouTube, it's Mike, uh, aka Master of None. Uh, what I'm going to bring you today is a basic unboxing and review video of the new Hypertherm 45 XP uh, from the PowerMax line. All right. Um, I'm sure like a few of you have watched several unboxing videos on YouTube that just drag on and on and make you want to... I'm going to try not to do that to you, okay? Try and keep it pretty short, pretty concise. Um, so it's not going to be a real in-depth thing. That way, if you guys have some other questions, uh, post them in the comments below. I'll try and answer what I can for you. I'm going to try and give you the basics in this. Um, so if you're like me, thinking about either buying a Hypertherm, upgrading to a Hypertherm, which is what I did from uh, an Everlast plasma cutter, which I'll get into in another video because I actually don't have any problems with that machine. That machine itself worked good, okay? What I need to use it for, for a CNC plasma table, those where I ran into a few of my issues. And again, they're not issues that couldn't be overcome. I'll be honest with you, I just got to the point I was lazy. I didn't feel like messing with it anymore. So bear with me. I'll try and make it somewhat entertaining for you. All right, so one of the other things I'm gonna do to bait you into watching this to the end is I'm gonna do a giveaway, all right? Let's go outside and get this thing. Time to open it up. All right, let's see what we got in the box. Machine torch, ground clamp, manual. small but it's heavy now a nice looking cord here let's say it's got to be I don't know a good six feet plug obviously already on it fortunately it's not like some of the uh, Chinese models where you're gonna have to go out buy a plug and put it on uh, hopefully this just fits my outlets I already have now, I've already watched a couple reviews on this for those who haven't, real simple setup. One of the things they changed, they moved the power button right here to the front. So everything you're gonna need to do with this is right here in the front, other than hooking up the uh, the air fitting in the back. But once you do that, no other switches or buttons um, back there. Um, get on off switch right there. Torch plugs in there, it's a new snap in and lock. I'll show that in a second. Ground plugs the same as most of the other units, just kind of turn in and twist. And then your dial for uh, your amperages. And then there's the back. It's already got a uh, water separator in there. It's got the uh, already threaded in for your air hose, uh, so that's nice. Nothing else extra that you need to buy. Nothing you had to go out, put Teflon tape in, screw it in, anything. I mean, literally, it's plug and play. Take this out in the garage, plug it in, plug the pieces on, and you're going to be ready to rock and roll. And one of the things for my unit that I got, because I'm going to be running this on... A CNC table is I got the package with the machine torch that comes with it. It's got a 25 foot lead on it. Um, I also purchased the ohmic retaining clip on there. I don't know if that'll show in there. You hook the wire up to that, and so as the touch comes, to, as the torch comes down and touches the metal, it senses it and knows to back off and does an automatic touch off for that. So it got that. I'm gonna put this all together get it on the table and I'll do a little bit more of a review once it's hooked up and ready to run. Like I mentioned before, this is gonna be getting used on a CNC table. So back here right next to the air hookup, you've got the CNC port um, for your controller. Here's my plug, uh, basically it's just a pin and uh, pin style plug it only goes in one way mine just a little bit it felt like it was a, a tight fit on the plugs to get it all the way in so now what this cord goes to is the uh, PWM sensor my electronics are from C and CNC 
um, with the electronic type torch height control. That's what this plug is for here. Um, now this cable setup that I just showed you that goes to this from this green plug, CNC port and this jack uh, comes from them. It's specifically for the hypertherm machines. This jacks for the torch height control. It goes in there and then your ethernet cable goes from here to the controller box and that's what's gonna send your signals here for the uh, okay to fire for the torch, the okay to move, um, and then all of the controls to actually work that portion of the torch. All right, everything's plugged in now, uh, turned on, got your indicators here, digital dial, your amperage, all the way down to uh, 10 now, and you can do, uh, from what I've seen, and I'll have to get into it later, um, almost like etching with the plasma cutter, it's super low amperage, and uh, on a CNC table like this, like you could, you know, do in serial numbers or engravings, things like that. It's not an actual graver, it still burns it, but it only just slightly gouges the metal um, from something that I saw online. Putting indicators up here at the top. Now, one of the things when I, I tried turning this on initially before I had hooked up my compressor and then this yellow light here started flashing and it started clicking. You could hear it. it um, if you don't have air pressure hooked up, even if you're not trying to use the machine or anything, that warning light comes on, starts flashing, and it starts making a clicking noise inside. So if you guys end up getting one of these, um, follow the instructions. It even tells you, and then I went back and read it to find out what that one was for, is to hook up all of those pieces before you go ahead and actually fire the machine up. So plugged in now. I'm going to go ahead and get one of my files opened up, and we'll see if we can make a cut with it. guys you saw there at the end uh, I had a little bit of a fail now that has absolutely nothing to do with the machine that was 100% on me um, I didn't put my home points where I needed to and I ran off the end of the material all right so that's some of the trial and error stuff and again I'm new to this I'm new to the table um, and getting everything set up so I have to work on that still I'll get all that dialed in um, from what you saw in the cuts there though the parts that did come out here uh, very happy with okay I'm gonna try and get in here if it'll show in there and zoom in enough there we go these are some of the edges straight off the cut all right now the the top and bottom I did finish you can see that I used the whizzy wheel on it to knock some of the uh, the dross off of but overall, the edges of these are completely untouched. I did not have to clean those up with the grinder at all. So very, very happy with the cut quality of this. And again, uh, it could even be fine-tuned a little bit more from here, all right? So this is gonna be my giveaway. This is what you gotta do. Subscribe, leave me a comment, 
Tell me who you want this for. Maybe it's for your kid. Maybe it's for yourself, whatever it may be. Leave me a little note down there. I've got two of these to give away. I'll select a couple of you guys, uh, send you a message, get your information, and I'll send these out to you, all right? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. This, to, uh, to be honest with you, is actually my very first video. Go easy on me. Uh, if there's anything you want to know, anything I didn't cover in here, any questions about the machine, any questions about my table, uh, feel free to ask. I'll, I'll do my best to get to you in the comments. Uh, now, like a lot of people say in the videos, um, throw it in here. I'm not sponsored by Hypertherm. I'm not sponsored by CNCNC. Um, these are just products that I have personally bought on my own. I'm, I'm just like you. I'm the average guy. Uh, um, I want to start doing these. I, just, I do this for fun. This is not my job. I'm not trying to make any money off of this. Uh, again, it's just to, to do it for fun, to help some people out. So any other ideas, suggestions, if, if it's something I can do, I'll, uh, I'll get to it. I'll, I'll either answer questions, I'll make a video about it. All right, thanks for watching.